everybody, it's Friday, who's happy? I am, kind of, well, <laughs> got rid of all the kids today and it's just me, you know, sometimes I actually get a little bored, it's sad, isn't it? School holidays start in about a week for us here in Australia, in New South Wales. I can't believe how quickly the term has gone. School holidays these days aren't too bad. When the kids were all younger, it was a little harder because I felt like I had to entertain them. But now that they're a little older, it's actually easier because I don't have to worry about getting them to school and picking them up from school. And so I like to try to come up with some outdoor things to do for them. But being winter, it's kind of hard because it's like today it's cloudy and it's chilly. And honestly, all I want to do is roll up in a ball and go to sleep. I kind of wish through winter we were like bears, we could just hibernate. So that, that would be really nifty. But uh, so I'll have to see what I can come up with for them during the school holidays. But I just can't believe how quickly the year's going. It's like the middle of the year already. One thing I did notice is how grown up my little littlest one is. She came in today and I knew that she'd um, gone and had a poo. <laughs> so she kind of disappeared for a while and came back and was a little smelly. And I said to her, Clara, did you, did you go poo? And she nodded at me. And then she disappeared and then she came back and she was holding a nappy. And I said, do you want me to change your nappy? And she's like, I'm like, oh wow, okay. So I picked her up and took her in um, and changed her nappy. But that was just a real indication of how she's transformed from a baby to like a little person. And that happens without you even realizing it. And even though this she's baby number five, like she's sibling number five, it still amazes me how quickly they grow up and how much they change over a short amount of pe like period of time for instance my son being 13 he's changed in just like a week and i don't know if it's because he's got it in his head oh i'm 13 like i can i can act differently at 13 and uh he's still you know he's still him and but it's his little attitude is kind of changed to like a mini teenager just just since he turned 13 same with my daughter when she turned four i just find that interesting how children tend to I don't know, they just change all of a sudden. I don't know if it's because we just don't pay attention as much, um, as much as we should, or as much as I should, but they do tend to just kind of go from one stage to another without even realizing it, and it's scary. And it, it, I know that I'm not having any more, but to see Clara go out of that baby, step, baby, baby stage and go into a toddler little person stage, that kind of makes me feel a little sad because she is my last one. and. I've noticed even just interacting with her, she's a lot more interactive. She'll kind of look at me intently and take everything in. And it just makes me realize how I'm never going to have that baby again. But, you know, I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> I think I'm okay with that. We did, um, we, we did pay off our cruise this week. So that was really exciting. This is the first holiday that our family has been on in, I think, like 10 years. It's the first one that the kids have ever been on. <laughs> Ever. I know that makes me sound like a horrible mum, but it's really kind of hard. It's been hard for us because when we moved over here from the US, we went through this huge transition period. And then my husband retired from the military, from the US Navy. So he went through a huge transition period. And then he, he got a job and then he created his own company. And that was, a, so it's been like transition, transition after transition. And we've never really been able to get the money together to do anything because it's always been, oh, We've got some extra money, pay bills and do this, and but never actually do anything for us. So I convinced him, <laughs> now men are, they, they don't really want to spend the money. I convinced him about three months ago to try this cruise situation because it is the cheapest thing for seven of us to go on that I could find because you've got your accommodation, your food, your entertainment. I'm so excited because we can go on to the boat and I can check in and then we can send the kids off uh, except for Clara because they have to be two and over but we'll so we'll have her the entire time but the rest of the children can go off and do their own thing and honestly I think it's going to be more of a holiday for them because they've got so many activities and things for them to do the entire time we're only going on a four day four day cruise we're going to go up north and come back so that's it just domestic no international that way I didn't have to do passports or anything like that because that was going to cost me a fortune just to do passports so that's what I'm really excited about is that they will get to experience a holiday because I kind of feel bad we haven't been out to do one and since we've moved over here. 
And of course, there'll be a night when my husband hopefully can go out and have a dinner or something. But most of the, <laughs> the, the holiday is gonna be mostly for them. But it was really cool to be able to find something that we could afford and it wasn't gonna break the bank. Because honestly, for all of us, we looked at it, for all of us to go to the US, for instance, because you know that's the obvious choice because that's where Sean's family is, it's, God, like $13,000 just for tickets, just for plane tickets to get there. So I was like, well, that's, that's like never going to happen unless we take like one or two children on like, you know, when they get older, we'll take, okay, we can take you and you this year and next year we'll take you and you and the others hopefully be old enough or they can go, you know, to stay by themselves or they can go and stay with um, friends or something while, while we go. But so the cruise situation was the best thing that I could work out to do for everybody. So well, that's really exciting. Um, I've started to already kind of think about what we're going to use bag wise to pack. Of course, being a crazy bag lady, I'm sitting there going, okay, well, we're going to use this bag and this bag. So if anybody out there who's been on a cruise with children, leave some suggestions in the comments below how you packed for your cruise. Because I've got some ideas. I do have some ideas and I'm not I'm not planning on taking a whole bunch because most of it's provided even down to the towels and things like that we just need to take clothes and a few um you know electronics or something for downtime but i just want to you know realize i realize that it's different going onto a boat than it is going onto a plane so if anybody has any suggestions please leave them below um, of what to bring how to pack for two adults and five children if you have you know if you can think about anything that I should be thinking about or I should be remembering to bring so I'm really excited about that I've never been on a cruise before I'm gonna have to make sure I take some seasickness tablets my husband being the Navy he says make sure you take them before you go on the boat because if you take them after you get sick then it's not going to work I'm like oh crap well, I'm, gonna take them. I'm gonna dose everybody up before we get before we even step onto that thing because I am not dealing with children throwing up as soon as we like take off Another thing that ha that I'm pretty excited about is anybody who's a Jujube Tokidoki fan, we know that we've got the release for Sea Punk on the 27th, and I just I'm not quite sure what I want to get. Does anybody have any idea what they want to get? Because you know I keep thinking I'm going to get one thing, and then my mind changes and I want something else. And I'm thinking, am I just wanting something because of the hype? Um, I mean, I like the new print, but I'm not like gaga over it, I suppose. But it does, it gets really kind of, people get worked up and excited about it. But then you're thinking, well, is it really kind of, so, um, what are you guys planning on getting? Do you have a, a strategy for release night? Normally what I do, I'll tell you what I do. When I have gone on release night, because we only have two retailers in Australia that we can get stuff from, you know, on release night. And what I normally do is I normally have, okay, I definitely want this one item. And normally it's like a mini B or something like that, that you know is going to sell out within like five minutes, especially for us, because very, very, very limited stock. We have like very limited options. So what I do is I cart my mini B straight away. I pay for it. I check it out. And then I go back and see what else there is that I might want. I mean, I'll have another list, of course, with the other things on the list that I want to get and then I'll go back and I'll cart those and buy those. I haven't missed out on anything so far. So doing it that way, cart the thing and pay for it straight away for the thing that you really want. I know you might pay two lots in shipping, but a lot of the places that we can get over here actually do combine your orders if you ask to combine them and they some of them actually refund shipping if you get charged twice. So that's on the 27th of June. Which is funny because it's actually my other son's birthday. I've got, um, well, my son's birthdays are kind of like in between June and August. So uh, I feel kind of bad because here I am wanting to buy something for me on his birthday and he's like asking me for everything. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm thinking, what do, what, do, what do I want for the Sea Punk release? And then I can't forget my son's birthday because I'm going to feel terrible if the 27th comes around, like, oh, Juju me. And they're like, oh, wait, crap, I didn't get anything for his birthday. I better go out and buy something for his birthday. So I hope you guys have had a great week and I hope to talk to you next time. It might be before or it might be after the um, release, the um, Sea Punk release. So you guys have a great day and a great weekend and I hope to talk to you next time. Bye bye.